Hey guys, it's Yesh here. My goodness, it has been a long time since I uploaded last, my goodness. But here I am, finally, 2020. I guess everyone agrees, it was a crazy year. And now I'm uploading again. You are, as promised, getting my New York experience from last year, 2019, in August. So everything you hear and you see is from last year, so... Here it is. Be blessed. 30 years today. <laughs> <laughs> Come and sit down over here on the couch. A few weeks ago when I turned 30, my wife surprised me with the birthday gift of all times. She couldn't have hit it better. She planned this surprise for about one year and literally made one of my dreams come true. Whoa. She gifted me with a short trip to New York City. New York. When we first arrived in New York City, it couldn't have been more real. It was pouring rain, tons of people out on the streets, so many people from different backgrounds and lifestyles. It was dirty, it was smelly, it was loud, and it was wet. Woo, honey, what's your impression of New York? I feel the same way to be honest. I feel just the same way. It's so crowded. So many people, it's dirty. But what I like is no one cares what you're doing. Like you could make a naked handstand here, no one would care. Like literally no one would care. Like they hand out flyers, no one cares. <laughs> people but you know what? People try to make money and on every corner. Look at this here. Like on every corner. First we made our way to our hotel room to freshen up, to dry up and to get ready for the rest of the day. Our hotel room was actually quite nice. It was very small, compact but sufficient and right in the center of Manhattan. We arrived in our hotel room. Woo! Nice bed, nice view as you see. We got completely, well, not completely, but we got pretty much so wet shoes, wet feet, everything. We got the whole New York, welcome to New York experience. After freshing up, we made our way into the city and to Times Square. There were so many advertisement screens everywhere, complete senses overload. But for me it was fun nevertheless. It was great to be in the city, to feel the vibe, to see the busyness to finally experience what I have heard of so many times. Later on in the day we met up with some friends, we had a wonderful dinner with them and they encouraged us to go visit the Empire State Building.
was a fail. We tried to go up there. No, we tried to go in. Check the prices and it's $45 per person to go up there. No way, Jose. <laughs> Ain't nobody got money for this. Actually, the truth is, people got money for this, but we don't. We ain't. So we go home, go to bed. <laughs> Having started the day at 3 a.m., we were oh. utterly exhausted at the end of the day. Uh. On the next day, we went out to see some of my personal bucket wish list items. I wanted to see the World Trade Center, we went out to see Grand Central Station, 368, the Rockefeller Center, B&H Video, the River and the Liberty Statue, the Trump Tower, Central Park and St. Patrick's Cathedral. Let's say we walked a lot. I think this is a general thing that you do in New York. New York is just huge and to go from A to B you just have to walk, ride the bike or take the subway. I was constantly checking in and reviewing my experiences in contrast to what I saw in video or what I had heard about the city. I really can say it's true, the city never sleeps. Again, I was glad Elijah, our son, wasn't with us. I think what Casey Neistat says about New York City is true. This city is for the young and broke or for the old and rich. It is definitely not a city to raise a child. It's busy, it's dirty, stinky, noisy, but to some degree beautiful. In a way you just have to point the camera anywhere and your shot looks like a movie set by default. I love that everything was accessible all the time. I love the big city vibe to some degree and I definitely want to go back again, but just for a visit. something like that at home honey Elijah would have a blast <laughs>